This is the first demonstration of a new type of autogyro. And now it seems that the dream of jumping off the housetops has come true. That amazing takeoff, without any forward run whatsoever, is achieved by an entirely new design of rotor blade. And this machine can do 80 miles an hour, costs 500 pounds, and can land just as easily and cleanly as it takes off. If you want to know the time, ask a policeman. But the old song's all wrong. Because from now on, you won't have to do this. You just dial TIM on the telephone and listen to the talking clock, inaugurated today by the Postmaster General. We welcome you all to this interesting occasion, the inauguration of the talking clock. It only speaks, so to say, when it's spoken to. It tells you the time by word of mouth and it tells it to you within one-tenth of a second. I am now going to ask the mayoress of Coburn to consult the clock. The words of Jane Kane, the golden-voiced girl, are recorded on glass discs. And now you'll hear how she tells the time. At the third stroke, it will be 4, 27 and 50 seconds. So if you're late for that date with the girlfriend, you'll never be able to fool her again that her watch is wrong. The most famous face in America is in the news. President Roosevelt is going to sea aboard his yacht. Here he is at the start of the cruise. And here's the guard of honor standing at the present. Up goes the flag on the schooner Siwana, where he's just skipper Roosevelt and his three sons, Franklin Jr., John and James. And now cares of state are blown to the breeze for it's always fair weather when good sailors get together. In New York, it's all aboard for the 11th Olympiad, and they're off, 334 athletic stars, including the three musketeers of the pole vault, left to right, Graeber, Kay Seaton, and Meadows. Jesse Owens, king of the 100 meters and the long jump. Jean Venske, one of the world's greatest milers. Frank Wyckoff, competing in his third Olympic. And America's swimming and diving queens are hoping to beat all comers. And here are the stars. Dorothy Poynton Hill, Olympic diving champion. Lenore Kite Wingard, freestyle champion. The team's determination and optimism are voiced by American Olympic chairman, Brundage. Thanks to the patriotic sportsmen of America, we're off to Berlin with the largest and finest team that we have ever sent abroad. With 120 million American citizens behind them, I'm sure our boys cannot fail. Thank you. So Uncle Sam's boys and girls are on their way to join in the Brotherhood of Nations at Berlin. Their flags are flying, and we wish them the best of luck. <laughs>